After months of deliberations and planning, the thought of recycling plastic bottles came to Anjiru as she decided to pursue the initiative. Oblivious to her, Wanjiru came to realize that she had been creative in her little ways, both at her home and salon decos, but never thought of commercializing the skill. When Wanjiru started off, many thought she had gone crazy. She would go to bins collecting plastic bottles and other things she could recycle. From the plastic bottles, Wanjiru has managed to create jewelry that could complement any woman's dressing. Napatanga orders kutoka mtu aki aki akiona mtu akuna hiyo kiatu anamuuliza hiyo kiatu linunua wapi anasema hai hiyo kiatu wengine wanafanya like fan wanasema eh hiyo kiatu paka unionge ni ninunua ngambo anambia ngambo ni kupatia pesa uni alafu baadaye anamwambia wacha nikupatie namba yako mimi alinchonie kita sasa wanashanga akisikia ni chupa mimi atanunua mwingine atasema bwana mimi sitaki kujua kwani nani atajua ni chupa ni chupa that is how Kenyan sa Wanjiru scaled her venture high by using worn-out tires and turning them into furniture. She gets them from mechanics shops and does the magic at this workplace. Naenda tu mahali. Kuna mwingine ataniuzia even 300. Namwambia hii hii tire inaitaka. Ananiambia tayari unapeleka na nayo wapi na ile. Sita shina nikimwambia ni yani nawaambia wewe ni ka unaniuzi uniuzi na niuzia 300 moja ama 200 mwingine analipatia free is how I get them. So, sa ingini nachukua zikiwa chafu kabisa. Haizi kukupatia zikiwa safi. Kwa zoridi unakuta ni chafu. Tires are among the largest and most problematic source of waste owing to the fact that they are produced in large volumes and are highly durable. This is the reason why Wanjiru felt it would be a great idea to transform them into useful home objects. From outdoor seats, coffee tables, and even landscaping, they come in handy. They are also one of the most reused waste materials as the rubber is highly resilient and can be reused in other products. Anne-Marie Kahigu is an events organizer and has been one of Wanjiro's biggest clients. Clients are changing from uh, the modern kind of deco. People are looking more into the rustic theme. So you find uh, sometimes, I think you took a photo of the tires, the yellow tires. You find someone, instead of wanting to put walkway flowers, they'll prefer to even do the tires. People are looking for an ancient feel. We are tired of modern things. Lush Occasions Deco has majorly been supported by Wanjiro's creativity. And according to Anne-Marie, passion is the biggest motivator that keeps one going. You need to be bold to take that step because, you know, you can be home for one year waiting for a job, but it doesn't come. That one year, you could have done so much with yourself. Wanjiru hopes to expand her venture and even employ people she could work with in spearheading the environmental conservation agenda through recycling products. Dana Rose, Switch TV.